hello there in this video i'm going to explain to you about the polymerization which is used in uh, o level and also igcse so we have a uh, two type of uh, polymerization which is uh, the addition type another one is a uh, condensation so i'm going to start the lesson so with the addition okay now for example for addition polymerization we must have alkene because they do have a double bond okay so the word addition means they just have to add on so example now here we have a one molecules of ethane and the second molecule of ethane so now what happens here is this double bond they will break okay they will break the double bond to form a single bond so for example So this double bond, they have to break it and form a line like this and they will be interconnecting with each another. So this is how they can multiply themselves. So they just have to add it. Okay. So in the terms of poly, polyethane. So now we are going to use a polyethane. So we can also write it in this way. And we just have to put a small n over here which stands for polyethane so now we try with the propane okay now this is a propane okay so one molecule of propane and another molecule of a propane so what happened now they will break this double bond and they will form a single bond to connect themselves okay so if you want to do uh, poly propane okay polypropane so you just have to write the same uh, so you don't have to change anything over here so just copy and then put a bracket over here and please don't forget these lines and just put the n over here so which means this is a polypropane okay now we are going to discuss about the second type of polymerization which is the condensation so condensation here we have the first one which is we call it as a ester esterification okay what does condensation means okay example now when the a combined with the b you'll be having c and you need to remove a small number of molecules so example is a water okay so we need to have a, a removal of a smaller unit removal of small unit it can be water or it can be something else but mostly the thing that is covered in IGCSC and also O levels it is the the water okay now look at ester okay for the formation of ester we need a carboxylic acid okay we need a carboxylic acid so it can be uh, CN if using the formula so normally for polymerization we will ignore this okay we will uh, ignore the carbonic compound and we will replace it with the box okay we will replace it with the box and we just have to put the functional unit over here and they will combine with the alcohol okay alcohol same goes to with alcohol so they do have a c n h2n plus 1 and also oh so we do ignore this as well so until here we are going to ignore this and we are going to replace it with the with the, a box of a green color and this is the the oh so we just have to place with the functioning unit okay now how do they combine so let me just write it down at both sides here Okay, both side and here we do have uh, OH as well so they, are, they will be combining by removing a water unit so so the hydrogen from here will be removed and the OH from the alcohol group will be removed so let me combine this so we will be having here the carboxylic compound and uh, carbon double bond with O and 
and there will be straight connecting with the alcohol and you have your OH the remaining one okay the same and here we will have the same for acid and you will produce and both of them will combine to form the water okay this is for ester all right so now we're going to look at the amine group okay the example for the formation of myelon okay we will have an amine group where they will have uh, nitrogen and hydrogen okay and here's the same so i'm going to use a red color box so another one here it will combine with with the carboxylic acid so i'm using a green color for carboxylic acid so you have here oh c double bond o and oh okay now at this part they will produce water by removing hydrogen from the amine group and they'll remove the hydroxyl group from the carboxylic acid. So you will have a formation of this. And at this side, they'll remain the same. And here we will have carbon with double bond with O. Okay, now this part, this part is what we call it as the amide linkage. Okay, so this is the amide linkage. So this one will be used for, uh, they do have a nylon and also some of the protein. Okay, so now we are going to do some of the past year questions to make you familiar with the polymerization uh, chapter. Okay, look at this, E. Polyester can be made from the two different molecules shown here and you have a Okay, this is an acid carboxylic acid and here we have the alcohol Okay Okay, now the first question here they'll be asking complete the diagram to show the section of a polyester made from these two molecules include all the atoms and all the bonds in the linkage so as usual um, we will have hydrogen being removed and uh, OH will be removed so bear in mind that the black color is the carbon okay so uh, just focus on the black color here so we will have a C double bond O and single bond O and even here will be removed right so we will have this connection and same goes to here okay now i just wanted to draw it over here uh, the carbon must be from the black color okay and at this side you can actually uh, replace with the oh because it, there is no no connection in between and here we will just have to write here the acid carboxylic acid uh, functional group so this is your answer guys okay so name the type of polymerization that takes place when this polymer forms so this is a condensation type okay this is a condensation type so name the polyester so here you have so remember if there is a formation of an ester type so just name it as a terylene okay now we move to the next question okay this question is about polymer polymer x is a condensation polymer so part of the structure of polymer x is shown below here okay remember guys so we have only like two types of uh, polymer so which is okay we will have a, this type of of a combination okay uh, carboxylic acid with alcohol or we will have the amide linkage so we have only both of this so please don't get confused so now over here how many molecules of water molecules of water are produced when this part of polymer x is formed from its monomer so at this formation they lose one water one mole of water 
and then over here they lose another molecules of water and over here they lose another molecule of water so total we have there we have there about three molecules of water okay so now complete the structure of two monomers used to make polymer x so if you as you can see the carbon is actually attached to the white color so the white color here we will have the acid same goes to here so the black color one it will be will be the alcohol okay will be the alcohol so what type of condensation polymer uh, polymer is x so we can say it's an ester esterification so ester is one so we can also write it as a polyester okay now part of a polymer y has a structure shown below here state the number of a different type of monomer needed to make a polymer y as you can see here at this part uh, you will have the the carbon is actually attached to only one side of the the black color box so most probably their structure will be something like this and here you have a OH okay so this is only one one type okay uh, part of a polymer Z has a structure shown over here okay draw and name the structure of monomer which forms polymer Z so as you can see it's divided into three parts one uh, okay let me draw it in more clearer way so here we do have okay one part here another part over here so we do have like three parts okay so this is number one number two and number three so the double bond most probably will be over here so if we draw this okay if we draw this so we will have and just copy the whole thing okay the, if they're asking the name so we can calculate that is about that is about ch and ch3 so that is about uh, one two three four that is about four carbons so we'll have a butene over here as your answer okay so this is the uh, the solution for this type of question okay now name the chemical process used to make the monomer that forms polymer Z okay from a very big compound to a smaller compound like monomers okay so here will be more to a cracking process okay guys so i hope you learned something in this video if you have any questions please just leave a comment below so i'll answer to your questions thank you for watching guys